When those poor, ignorant, yet presumptuous scribes of the past tried to imagine God, they created a being like man. His mind was limited, the energy consumption was so limited that after just five days it needed to rest. But then again, all that is nothing but an illusion. Since then, men made abstract thought. There is a series of tormenting questions hammering his head. Who am I? What am I? What is all this that surrounds me? Is there any reason for all this but death and destruction of life and forms? Yes, you may call me an atheist. I may be, but I'm not at all a political atheist. A political atheist is an asshole. I not only pity all those whose souls are filled with illusions, fantasies and deceits are waiting to manifest. I pity myself because my own reason has stripped me out of faith, leaving a vacuum in my mind that cannot be filled again with illusions. Remember when you were told that Santa Claus did not exist? It felt like something broke inside. The same reaction happens when a wise guy tells us a phrase as acid as Das Gott tot ist. Again, something breaks inside us and cannot be put together again. After you run out of illusion and fairy tales, what is left? Nothing, everything seems to be lost, yet not everything is lost. You still have poetry, but even poetry is not that enjoyable after you have trained yourself to see or at least to seek the truth behind every symbol, every image, and every sound. So, in short, I have nothing really important to say. The fact that we all be dead in, let's say 100 years to be sure, means that everything has already by projection of an implacable reality, totally useless individually. Although there is a continuation of sorts kept on going until that particular continuation will also actually fade away into oblivion. No chance to change.